Okay, hi everybody here. I have a couple more balls. We're going to discuss the differences between chipping and pitching in terms of trajectory and how to actually perform the motion a little bit better with a, with a pitch. Now the pitch is a, a, a little bit of a closer cousin to the full swing. Uh, the one difference is you're really not going to rotate and load because it's not a shot where it requires a lot of power. It's really about controlling distance from you know, 10, 20, 30 yards by looking for a much higher uh, trajectory. So one of the ways, that, and the first way you're going to control it is making sure that you have less shaft lean less weight on the front foot and your center where your club's going to bottom out where the hands come in the middle um, less in front of the golf ball so how do we do that well we number one we're going to change the ball position for a higher shot it's going to be actually quite a lot forward of center for a medium trajectory shot a little more towards the middle but the difference between how you put your weight on your front foot for a slightly higher trajectory shot is that you would move the lower body not the upper body Keep the upper body steady, put a little bit of weight on the left side via the lower body. As you remember with chipping, we don't just put the lower body, we also put the upper body. We want the center out in front of the ball, you'll hit down on it better. We don't want to hit down on it as much with a, with a slightly higher trajectory. So if I'm going to hit a medium trajectory shot, not too low, not too high, I'll put the ball in the middle with a bit of weight, maybe 70% on the left side, but not my center. Now my center is pretty much equal with the back of the golf ball. And because it's medium trajectory, there's a little bit more of a swinging motion, waist to waist, so to speak. So nine to three, there's gonna be a little more of a wrist break. So that being said, as you hit the shot, you're gonna be rotating. As you rotate, more weight goes to the left side. So you'll hit down on it just enough that it'll you'll make good contact. It won't go too low, it won't go too high. So it's pretty much waist. distance now you don't necessarily control it wholly through your, your the length of your backswing it's also also controlled through the speed in which your core area your hips move through the ball because sometimes I can do a little bit of a medium shot waist to waist with a slower hip speed if I want to hit this a little bit further 30 40 50 yards I'm just gonna create a medium trajectory through the height of my swing but increase the speed of my hips and that went lower or a similar height but much further so controlling trajectory of your shots it's done through ball position weight distribution how much weight and actually how you put your weight there and shaft lean. The final recipe or ingredient to the recipe is club face. With small chips and low shots a club face stays quite square or you could almost say closed parallel, right through straight back straight through. With slightly higher shots there's a little more of an opening effect. So you can see with the natural swinging motion and rotation of the forearms you can see the club face is now less closed. Now sometimes from 30 or 40 yards I may still do that medium shot but I want it really low I'll actually keep that club face quite low and it'll are quite close and the ball will come through quite low excuse me I'm just gonna get another ball so that helps to, uh, us understand the trajectory um, and also the speed and the distance now if I want to hit a high shot again I'm not gonna play the ball now in the middle I'm gonna even play it further forward with hardly any weight, but just a touch of weight on the front foot. Again, it's the left foot for a right-handed golfer. Um, so in doing so, having that little bit of weight there, but now my, that's gonna allow me to hit the golf ball first, but not, a, not entirely, because now my center is a good inch and a half, two inches beyond the ball, a few five, four or five centimeters. So there's a risk I can hit the ground first. So the key now on all these shots, anything that's a little further than just off the green, there's hip rotation, as, you, as, you, as I said before, as your hips rotate, you're accentuating the weight here. You will catch the ball first, but you're not going to hit down on it very much. The ball's forward enough that by the time the club gets to it, it's going to just barely hit down on it, and, the ball, and it's just going to slide underneath. With a lofted club, the ball may even ride up the club face. So the motion, if you want something high, you're going to have to do a higher swing. If you want it high and soft and not far, let gravity do its job. You can see, just complete the motion. Turn right through. Sorry, I'm going to get a couple more balls. 
if I want the same high trajectory, but I want to go further, nice and steady, nice and high, I'm not going to load, I don't have to get the weight over here, I don't have to get behind it too much, I'm already there, I'm not trying to create a ton of power, just a nice high soft motion, but I'm going to move a little faster through the ball. So it's actually the motion is arms, wrists, just by moving the arms and wrists I will turn, but I'm not going to really create a big torso rotation or spine rotation. Arms, wrists, let the club fall and rotate through and basically how fast you rotate through will also really dictate how far that ball is going to go. So hopefully this helps everybody understand the fundamental differences between a chip and a pitch and how to control the trajectory. So uh, look forward to the next video which is going to be strategy. When do you play these different shots and how do you figure out which shot to hit from very close to the green. Thanks a lot.